Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're getting back into our talks on Venom within King and Black with Venom issue 34, which is appropriately titled Rise. And it's here that we sort off like the standoff within the God Hive just before the insane battle that's to come in King and Black issue 5. So let's get into it. But first, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to catch your spills every week. And don't forget to hit that bell up top so we can squat up in the comments for the first hour. Alright, so jumping back in from the 2-in-1 cliffhanger that we had got back in Venom issue 33 with Rex, Flash, and Eddie in the God Hive, it's here where we left off for one with Flash allowing himself to be bonded to one of the dragons at the God Hive, but his codex took over and he arose as the Flash Dragon. And I don't know if the Flash Dragon is something that's gonna stick as far as name-wise, who knows, but I like it, kinda got a ring to it. But also with this being the case, if you guys remember, we also left off with No taking over Rex's body and with doing so snatching Eddie by the back of the neck and immediately Noel just lets him know like there's no way that Eddie could have thought that he could have just came to the God Hive and Noel just wouldn't know because either way whether it's in the main hive or crawling through the breach and get into the God Hive it's still Noel's territory but with Noel putting Eddie in this very familiar predicament because I think Noel has a thing for just dropping Eddie like whether it's sneaking up on Eddie at high places or just taking him there and dropping him but even with this being the case Eddie tries to elbow himself free which was something that didn't really have a chance of doing anything with Eddie just being the Codex and Noel here in Avatar form even, but he does it still because to him, like, hey, it's at least worth a shot. Cause like, what's the worst that could happen? Like, he'll drop you, but he was gonna do that anyway. So like, why not at least give it a shot? But even here, Noel reminds Eddie that he's not physically here, like at the God Hive, like Eddie is, or at least his Codex is at this moment, his memory. But it's here where Noel tells him, like, look, I'm up on Earth where your son is, and I'm about to rip the light out of that planet like a beating heart. And with saying that, he just drops Eddie again but when he drops Eddie to his certain death like his death within death but when he drops Eddie it's here that we see that a symbiote had made its way off of no onto Eddie which initially Eddie's struggling with on the way down but it's here that we find that the Venom symbiote has made its way back to Eddie after being taken by no to where during that time all it could really do is try to reach out to Dylan or try to guide Eddie throughout the hive in the God Hive because all the way up till now like with the few glimpses that we got whether it was in Kingdom Black issue 1 or 2 or in Venom issue 31 and really more so in Venom issue 31 because when no stripped the Venom symbiote from Eddie the symbiote was literally begging no not to make him leave Eddie and even though at that time there was literally nothing the symbiote could do to like stop no from dropping Eddie but even still since then the Venom symbiote has kept true to his word telling Eddie that he's not gonna stop trying which is exactly what we saw when the symbiote was stripped away but also while he was being taken by no he was reaching out to Dylan who at the same time was looking for his dad and I mean technically they're both Dylan's parents both Eddie and the symbiote but even then the symbiote was looking out for Dylan while trying to help Eddie and it's been whispering to Eddie and guiding him ever since and now that they're finally back together like it just feels like finally <laughs> but man we are just getting started because even at this point here like keep in mind we're still in the god hive so even at this point with the symbiote searching through Null and finding Eddie here like once they're together they're definitely Venom because the two together that's who they are but even still with them being reunited and Eddie swooping around going for no the symbiote then reminds him like this isn't the real fight they still got to get back to earth like they got to get back to the real world because if they fight no here he's just an avatar it won't matter like he could just jump somewhere else but then it's here where the symbiote tells eddie like we got to go to the real world and it lets him know like it can take eddie with him but with doing so all eddie has to do is choose a form and when he does man does he because when they rise up in the real world it's here where they essentially have just symbiotes everywhere so it's like now with them needing a form like there's plenty of symbiotes mass to build from and when the two of them come through like Eddie and the symbiote they just go straight Godzilla like King Kong versus Godzilla size and I'm telling you like man I would love to see this like a 350 foot tall like Venom just smashing through symbiote dragons like come on man like that would be nuts because he's like he's just swatting them out here but also with them making their way to the real world like Flash follows Eddie up but Flash and his dragon they're not like the Eddie Venom duo because Eddie and his symbiote have been bonded the longest so together they're mad OP in comparison to Flash. But from here, Flash is like, hey, point me out to this guy, tell me where we need to go, tell me what we gotta do. But Eddie's like, nah, this is between me and No, because Eddie's gotta protect his son, Dylan. But then it's here where Eddie tells Flash, like, hey, you remember what happened to Cletus, like back when he got that Grendel, like during Carnage Born? And Flash is like, nah, bro, I was dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's here where Flash tells Eddie like his physical form is still in the grave so there's only so much he can do. But with Eddie telling Flash the whole carnage Grendel hint more or less because in this moment like really Eddie doesn't have the time to spell it all out. But with him at least telling Flash that much he tells him to go and figure out the rest while Eddie goes on to take care of Noel. And by the way I got a link below if you need to check out my video on Carnage Born in case you missed it or you need to refresh your memory so at least that way you'll have a better idea of what Eddie was talking about. And come to think of it like that was a while back man I was like two years ago or at least I'm pretty sure it was two years because I remember when that video went live I was in Jamaica because <laughs> I specifically remember waiting to squat up with you guys as soon as that went live because it was nuts. But with Eddie and Flash going their separate ways, Eddie, he then goes straight for Noel. But just before he can reach Noel, he is then struck by a beam of light. And man, like when this happens, man, like you already know. <laughs> It's about to go down. But that's in King of Black. We're not there yet. And I mean as far as like the main issues versus the narrative here in Venom issue 34. But even though on the ground like all the other heroes that have been freed at this point, they're all just kind of looking up like what's going on. And really at this point, I just think the Silver Surfer, Gene, and Reed are the only ones who really know what's going on. And that's like with the exception of Noel, of course, like he knows what time it is. But with this beam of light hitting Eddie, this of course is the God of Light drawing Eddie back to his body. And when it happens, initially Eddie doesn't want to let go of the symbiote, like he doesn't want to be separated again. But even still, his other tells him like, let go, let this light take you. Because eventually at some point, the symbiote will find its way back to Eddie, like he always does. But also like with Eddie being drawn back to his body or his codex being drawn back to his body, part of the process is him being torn apart with light and reassembling into a new form which is a form that he would choose but even still man i gotta say like it just looks painful but like it also makes sense like with the way that it's set up and like how we just now discovered that the enigma force that it's been a symbiote this whole time albeit a symbiote of light but nonetheless still a symbiote in the way that we see this brought over like by donny cates like it is nothing shy of genius because if you think of any time before just with captain universe and you have like that moment where the person is chosen and the enigma force either selects or rejects who it may like all this behavior the dialogue of the enigma force the sentience like it's literally had symbiote written all over it all this time and at this point it kind of makes you think like why didn't anybody else think of this because it just feels like it was supposed to happen but at this point with Eddie being drawn back to his body and the enigma force asking him like what form would you like to take but at this point Eddie he just can't help but laugh because really there's only one answer that Eddie's ever had to that question and that's an answer that he doesn't plan on changing anytime soon but we'll talk more about that once we get into King of Black issue 5 which is just nuts but even still we had to talk about Venom issue 34 first because for one we were kind of combining the conversations of the two but when the story of Dylan and Eddie split up then I was like hey okay we gotta split the playlist back up which now even makes more sense when we include everything that's going on with Flash to whom at this point like Flash he's pretty much figured it out because before when Eddie told him like hey what Cletus did you need to do and if you don't know what he did you need to go figure it out you need to do it and it's at this point where we see the Flash dragon fly over to Arlington National Cemetery and when he does he finds his grave and he crashes his Grendel or dragon on top of his grave seeping into the dirt and down to his body which essentially was the same process that we had seen with Cletus Cassidy from Carnage Born when the cult of Carnage took the corpse of Carnage and bonded it with Noel's Grendel but with Flash doing this successfully it now means that Flash is back and I feel like there's a pun there somewhere but I'm gonna let you guys take care of that in the comments but I will say like on top of this with Flash returning things are not gonna be the same because much like Carnage was different when he got that Grendel now Flash is different and I am here for it and I don't even know what the toys look like yet but man pre-order pre-order <laughs> like I need all of it because you just know it's gonna be sick and so now real quick I want to give a special shout out to all the patrons thank you guys for all your support and for anyone who's new here who wants more information on how to support the channel I got a link below so you can go to patreon.com slash dope spill but that'll do it for this one guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and we'll do it again in the next one. Alright, later.